What is going on guys, it's Alex here and welcome to part 4 of Pascal Tutorials from Hello World Computing. Uh, today we're going to be learning about variables and the importance and the roles that they take on. So let me start by explaining what a variable actually is. Um, in a sense you could describe it as a container. Um, a variable can take different forms of data so um, Let's say you've got string, which can be words or sentences or things like that. You've got integers, which are whole numbers, um, real numbers, which Callum will come on to later. And Callum will also be doing integers in the next one and simple mathematics. Uh, you've got char, which is single characters. Uh, you have boolean, which will be useful later when you're designing... Um, I don't know, games and stuff. Uh, Boolean is true or false. So I'll come on to that later in the series. Um, so now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to teach you how to properly define variables within Lazarus for Pascal. So let's get started here. Um, what we're going to do is, like we did before, file, new program. Okay, I just don't want to save that. I'm going to chop this. And we're going to place in a read line. File, save all. Uh, we'll go up and we'll go variables. Uh, open and save as project one. There we go, we're just going to test it runs. Okay, and now we know it runs, we can get on programming. So variables are declared in another section, not between begin and end. This is the main body of the program, and this is where all the code goes. But variables are declared in their own little section. So just under program, you're going to create a section called var, V-A-R. Just hit enter. Um, so let's talk about string. String can take... Um, words or sentences it can take numbers but you can't use it for adding together or minusing or mathematics so um, let's say uh, we'll have we'll call it name that counts and then you have a colon and then we'll call it string and semicolon so you can declare variables as you can almost put the data in yourself so say I wanted name to have the values of Alex as a string. So what you do is so you have name colon equals so that mean that symbol there. So colon equals means becomes. So name becomes um, and then apostrophe uh, Alex close apostrophe close brackets. So now when we write line name so this is going to output what is in the variable name to the console so when we run this there you go yeah, right lines Alex and so we could change this so say I wanted hello and I love computing So now name is going to take hello and I love computing when you run the program and it compiles it. So we're just going to run this. There you go. Hello and I love computing. Um, so that's the sort of general role. Variables can be very useful for creating games as they can hold data such as the, the, the amount of moves that someone's taken, for example, um, and you will use them a lot later on um, at school we're learning about GUI and you use a lot of variables to um, save it and yeah so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and in episode 5 uh, Callum will be going over simple mathematics in Pascal please comment rate and subscribe yay